In this lesson, we will learn about aliasing and anti-aliasing. Almost all new artists working with computer graphics will face the question, should I anti-alias or not? Well, let's take a look at what aliasing is and how to identify it. Aliasing occurs often in computer graphics because each pixel is processed and displayed as a solid square of color. For example, if we take a look at the edge of this logo, you can see that the logo is black and the edge of the graphic is very clear. Now this causes a stair-step artifact, or also what is called the jaggies. Because of this jagged edge, the computer-generated images don't blend very well with their backgrounds. Now anti-aliasing is the solution to the problem for jaggies. What you lose in slower render times, you quickly pick up in the quality of the image. What anti-aliasing does is sample the foreground and background pixels along every edge and shades the edge so it creates a smooth transition. This almost blurs the edge a little to create a smooth edge so you end up with a believable result. If possible, it's always a good idea to render with anti-aliasing and gain that little extra quality that your image deserves.